undefeated, world champion in three different divisions, unified bantamweight champion, Muhammad Ali bantamweight trophy winner, 22 fights, 22 wins, 19 knockouts, 86% knockout effectiveness, recognized as one of the top five fighters today. Naoya Inoue, also known by his nickname The Monster, is the deadliest boxer in the world. They call him the monster because he knows knockouts not only put his rivals to sleep, they make them scream in pain, give up on the ground, beg for help. After a fruitful amateur career of 75 wins with 48 knockouts and several national championship titles, Naoya Inoue finally began his professional boxing career in 2012. Unlike many other fighters, Inoue didn't start with dozens of easy fights to build on his professional record. This is something common in countries like Mexico, where professional fighters start very young in order to frequently fight against not very competitive opponents at the local, regional and national level, in order to gain experience that maybe they didn't obtain at the amateur level. That is why we see champions like Canelo and even Julio Cesar Chavez himself, who fought dozens of poor quality opponents when they were just starting out before they could get their big opportunity at the world stage. So instead of having 20 fights before leveling up in opposition, Inoue only had 3 somewhat easy fights before facing a dangerous opponent. In his 4th professional fight, at the age of 20, now Inoue faced a then Japanese junior flyweight champion. Ranked 3rd in the world by the World Boxing Association, and who would later become the WBA, IBF and Ring Magazine junior flyweight world champion, Ryoichi Taguchi. Taguchi, who was supposed to be Inoue's first big challenge, ended up being destroyed over 10 rounds by the monster Naoya Inoue. That victory over Taguchi positioned Inoue among the best fighters in the division. And just eight months later, in what was his sixth professional fight, Naoya Inoue was already fighting for a world championship. I am referring to the fight on April 6, 2014, between Naoya Inoue and the then WBC Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, the Mexican Adrian Hernandez. Hernandez was a two-division champion who had previously gone 8-1 in world title fights, but Inoue dominated the fight from start to finish. In just six rounds, the Japanese monster was able to defeat the Mexican via knockout. And just like that, it only took Naoya Inoue a year and a half since his pro debut to become a world champion. <laughs> From there, the monster's career has been on the rise. That time 2014, Inoue decided to move up a division and snatch the flyweight championship of the experienced champion Omar Andres Narvaez with a knockout in the second round of the fight. However, despite already being a recognized world champion in two divisions, Inoue had a hard time connecting with boxing fans outside Japan. It wasn't until September 2017 that the monster Inoue got a chance to fight outside of his native country. Inoue had the opportunity to demonstrate his capabilities in front of an American audience on a global platform for the first time. And it was an opportunity that Inoue could not miss, and so he tried his best to put on a show. And finally, now Inoue demonstrated not only to the American public but to the whole world why they call him the monster by completely destroying his rival Antonio Nieves in just six rounds. It's a terrible place to be when you're hurt with a body shot and you've got a guy walking you down with a great repertoire. As he tries another body shot and another one. Ten seconds. What are the corner going to do here? And they're going to call it off. That's a set. Since then, Inoue has not stopped surprising everyone. In 2018, he went up another division and beat the champion Jamie McDonald by knockout in the first round. And among his most recent accomplishments is his victory over the legend Nonito Donaire for another bantamweight world championship and for the Muhammad Ali tournament's trophy. In fact, the fight between Inoue and Donaire was awarded the best fight of the year in 2019. 
It is for all of these achievements, for all these fights against champions, and for his style of destruction in the ring that Naoya Ino is recognized as one of the best boxers today, and in my opinion, the most entertaining fighter to watch right now. But despite all of these achievements and accolades, Naoya Ino is still not satisfied. Inoue currently owns two of the four championship belts at Bantamweight, meaning that Monster Inoue is two wins away against two world champions from becoming the undisputed champion of the division. Being an undisputed champion is an achievement that very few boxers have accomplished, so by obtaining it, Inoue will seek to establish himself as one of the best Japanese boxers of all time, perhaps the best in history. To win those missing belts, Inoue would have to face Donito Onir for a second time as Donir just won a championship again, and he will also have to face the Filipino knockout machine John Riel Casimero. Those two fights would be extremely good, both fight of the year candidates. These three champions are impressive knockout artists, so we can only hope that some of these fights will actually happen in 2022. Filipinos are in your future. John Riel Casimero will be facing Nonito Donaire in the month of August. Is that who you want the winner of that fight to become well, a disputed uh, champion? Of course. But what do you think? Do you think now Inoue can unify the entire division and become the undisputed champion? Is there a specific fighter you would like him to face? Do not forget to leave all your opinions in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, I invite you to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notifications bell. See you in the next video. Goodbye.